Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at cable, that's the British pound against the US dollar. At the moment, PM David Cameron is in Brussels. He's talking up a prospect of a, a UK deal with Europe. And since this debate has become a bit more current, a bit more topical, and since Cameron's really been again trying to get this deal hammered through, the British pound has really started to suffer. Now we've got that on one hand, but we also have changing uh, ideas about how much the Federal Reserve could increase interest rates in the US. So both these two factors driving the British pound at the moment, we've got a fairly clear defined price range on the chart, which we're going to have a look at and see what the prospects are for a breakout. So first I want to show you just this slightly strange looking chart when you first look at it. It's, uh, it's a daily price chart. It's just comparing the British pound against the dollar index. The reason I'm doing this is that you can see, if we look at this chart now, there's a sort of gradually inclining uh, price trend in the dollar index. This is happening uh, throughout December and the, into the early part of January. Um, basically with the idea that the Fed has just raised rates, they seem to be the only one capable of doing so, and the US dollar has been going up with those prospects of higher interest rates. But if we look at the British pound, that's really crashed pretty, pretty severely. That downtrend is pretty sharp. And so I think what we can conclude from this, it is not just the US dollar driving this uh, decline throughout December. There's something else very much British related. Uh, and I think there's a good chance that it's the, uh, the Brexit debate weighing on the ability of the Bank of England to raise interest rates this year. Now, you have, you'll have seen on that chart that after those two areas of trend that we talked about, there's been quite a sharp drop off in the US dollar and the British pound has managed to stabilize a bit. That, that to my mind, is more of a US dollar phenomenon because bets that the Fed are able to raise rates further this year have seriously declined. The US economy is looking a little weak and there's a lot of calls for maybe not even any more rate cut, uh, any more rate hikes from the Fed this year, even some talk of a rate cut. And the Federal, Federal Reserve themselves have actually been looking at negative interest rates as a possible policy tool. So the US dollar's fallen off, the British pound has stabilized. Um, so now we're gonna have a look at the, the uh, a longer term chart for the British pound than a shorter term chart, just to see where we are in terms of levels and where we can work out from here. So this is a monthly chart for the British pound that we're gonna look at next. You can see that the 142.30 support area has really been the big one that we've reacted from here. And you can see that we've, even though we've popped below it, we're back, we're back up through it now and we're sort of stabilizing. Now, if we drop down to this daily price chart, you can see a bit more specifically the, the price levels that are involved. The 143.50 has been quite the pivot level. We've, we've pushed up through there, found support, we dropped through there again. Now we're right in around that area acting as resistance. This is, this is what's causing the price to bounce around in the time being. But really, for us to get some idea as to where the direction of the pound can be headed next, it's gotta be a move through this 142.30 support to tell us that we're renewing the downtrend, or a push up through the 146.30 resistance, which was the peak from January, to tell us that actually this downtrend has ended and we, we're looking at more of a potential uptrend taking place. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. We were looking at the pound, of course, uh, against the US dollar, namely. Now, we've talked about this price range. Really, whether the price can push up through the top or bottom of the range kind of depends on these two factors. It's do expectations remain low that the Fed is going to be able to raise rates this year? If it does, that, that's a positive factor for the pound. Does David Cameron sign a pretty weak deal for, the, for Europe, maybe even no deal at all? That's, that's a negative impact for the pound. To my mind, the two are kind of offsetting each other at the moment. Um, there's uncertainty over a, a Bank of England rate rise. There's also uncertainty about a, a US rate rise. And so that sort of combined uncertainty probably means we're going to be in and around this kind of price range for a while, probably without much of a breakout in either direction. We're probably looking at range trading, which means high probability trades at the bottom of the range, high probability trades at the top of the range.